Back in Brooklyn Heights, Jason Garrett with you here on NEC Front Row and FFCAthletics.com following a big comeback, a five-set victory for St. Francis Brooklyn over Central Connecticut State. I'm joined by sophomore middle hitter Maggie New, and you had a career performance today, 20, 20 kills, which is the best you've ever had. Okay. And <laughs> I'm not sure if you knew that. But I didn't know that. <laughs> well, now, now, now everybody knows, but just – just describe what happened in the 10-minute break between sets two and three because after that it seemed like a totally different team came back onto the court than had played the first two sets. During our 10-minute break, we um, came together as a team and we're like, all right, this isn't us. Like, we know we can play better and we know we can compete with this team, so let's just give it our all and leave it all on the floor. And against a team like Central, you need more than one great performance and you got it up and down the roster. Uh, Stefanovic, Gerard, Feliz Ramirez with the serve and all of the digs. Coach Jacoba said that you basically took it one point at a time. And in taking it one point at a time, everybody sort of got and got in the match and contributed. Yes, that is correct. He always tells us take one point at a time and not to rush things. Now you face Bryant tomorrow. How big is this win as a confidence booster for a team that has struggled at times, both in non-conference and in conference play, going forward? Now you're 1-0 in the NEC. How good does that feel? It feels pretty awesome, and uh, this win – Central Connecticut's really good school and just, just boosted our confidence to, to prove everyone that we are a good team. St. Francis is a good program. Look out. NEC opponent St. Francis is back on the map. A huge upset victory over, Saint, over Central Connecticut State here at the Genovese Center. We'll be back to wrap things up at sfcathletics.com and NEC Front Row.